might be helpful just from your perspective. What does that mean to you, uh, open beta? I have seen some people speculating and some concerns that, yeah, yeah. you know, it's like one tenth of Forge and it's right. just going to be this small little experience. But what do we want players to know about that? So when we say beta, it is the full feature set for launch for, for Forge. Like this is not a stripped down version. This is not, uh, you know, some features turned off, some features not. We've been flighting Forge for quite some time. Um, and so what people will experience in this open beta is the Forge tool set. Um, you know, some things are going to come later, like additional palettes and those kinds of things. But Forge is Forge has, is going to be its own, you know, uh, service as well. Like we're going to add things over time to Forge too. But you're right. People should not look at the beta label and think, oh, is this some sort of, um, you know, handcuffed version of Forge? No, not at all. Like when people, when people get it, they'll be, they'll be playing it with a full robust feature set for, for V1. Yeah, and I think, you know, originally we had talked about we were going to flight Forge at a larger scale before release, but mm -hmm. um, given that you have, you noted that we have been flighting it to a private audience for, I think, honestly, maybe two years or more at this stage. Yeah, it's been a long um, time, yeah. I think it's the right decision, essentially, by moving into an open beta. We can get that core tool set right into the game as soon as possible, and it lets everyone in the community with no barriers or restrictions start making real content and real experiences that will then persist. So... It's one of our ways that we can also yeah. help address the feedback that people want more content, more experiences. We get to recruit the community to help us in some regards. That's right. And I mean, all that fun innovation and new ideas that's always come from Forge, like we want to get that flywheel going as quickly as possible. And the open beta allows us to do that too. So you're absolutely right. When people jump in with an open beta, they'll be able to make stuff and it'll, it'll, it'll persist as well. So people shouldn't think like, oh, is the work I'm gonna, gonna do go away? No, no, not at all. And we'll of course have a lot more to say and show and share about Forge uh, in, in the coming months.